Three great stations, one stupid show. This is Mojo in the Morning, live. Mojo. 30. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition sequence start. Let me take y'all back to the beginning. This is it. All right, you ready? You're listening to Mojo in the Morning. You're a doo-doo hat. Let's go. Good morning. Welcome to Mojo in the Morning. If you're with us for a while, welcome back after a song. Uh, and if you're listening to us on Channel 955 in Detroit, 104.5 SNX in Grand Rapids, Muskegon, or 92.5 KISS FM in Toledo, know that you can listen to us on the radio, but also get us on the iHeartRadio app so that when you leave your car to go in and do a little work or hang out in the house, you can bring us with you right on the iHeartRadio app. All right, it's Mojo in the morning show. Megan thought that she was getting fired. Don't yeah. you do you feel like you're always getting fired? No, because I've never overreacted to anything in my entire life. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this is definitely not a case of overreaction if my therapist is listening, because this is something we've been working on for quite a while. But yesterday I was here in the office and it was like around two o'clock, so there weren't many people around. And all of a sudden all of my computers stopped working. Uh, had to reboot them, and then they wouldn't let me log in. And the first computer, you're like, well, oh, it's this building. Yeah, everything's <laughs> broken. I'm sure I should just go to another studio instead of trying to fix this. And I went into another studio, and I couldn't log in. I was like, that's kind of weird. But again, it's this building, so all right, I'll try another studio. I go into a third studio, can't log in. And I'm like, okay, now things feel suspicious. So I have a laptop here in our studio that I wasn't working in that is a work laptop. I try to log into that not working. I look around and I realize, oh my God, they turned off my access to everything. I've been fired and they forgot to tell me. (laughs) And I spent the next 40 (laughs) minutes trying to get into a workspace to work while avoiding the footsteps of heels. That was our boss, Colleen, Or every time I heard Tony talking in the hallway, I would just dart into a room and just try, like, don't, 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 don't. Like me (laughs) running through the building, trying not to be spotted so that I didn't get fired. Wait, so you thought you were getting fired. So you started hiding from them, thinking that if you were getting fired... If they couldn't find you, they couldn't fire you. Correct. Why would you prolong your work if they fired you? Why would Mm. you continue working? You say prolong work. I say prolong paycheck. Well, what if they stopped your what forty if they minutes? Put a hold on your paycheck. <laughs> hey, a win is a win. Okay. <laughs> By the way, I you I feel like I'm being fired all the time. I just have, Mojo knows this. I have this like nervous, very anxious energy about it. But that's really how I realized I was being fired from my first radio job was I couldn't For log real? into my email. Correct. Yes. That's crazy. Yep. In, uh, Somebody I know who works in this industry, uh, when you couldn't unlock the door with your key card, mm. so they would That's turn it good. off the mm-hmm. night before, mm. and for like they shouldn't have, and you couldn't get into the building in the morning, and you're like, oh, I'm I'm gonna get laid off today. Wow. Hey, has anybody? <laughs> is there anyone listening who? This would be fun to hear this call. Knew they were getting fired, but hid from their boss long enough that they couldn't fire you or they couldn't get a hold of you. Has anybody ever had that happen? Because that that actually... Oh, that's a great story. Just to hear you say what you just did, that would be the funniest if that actually legitimately happened to somebody where they hid long enough that they could not get fired. Or how did you know you were getting fired yeah. before you actually heard it face-to-face from your boss? Yeah. So what, wait, so what, what was the story? Why did you... Uh, Why'd you have issues yesterday thinking you were getting fired? So eventually I had like deadlines coming up and I really needed help figuring it out. And I was like, well, I should go figure it out. And I started sneaking through, you know, in that one sales area, the, the cubicle almost backs up to the wall, but you can squeeze through to get to engineering. Yeah. Well, I, I crawled through that space. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> I go to an engineer because I was like, he'll tell me. And he, uh, apparently nationwide outages yesterday for iHeart oh, was one okay. of our systems. And it was like everybody, yeah, not I, just me, but nobody told me. Was that me. that VPN thing that I yeah. saw? Yeah. Uh, so that, yeah, I saw so because of uh, a hurricane uh, affecting Houston, it, it was... Uh, 
there was issues, I guess, with our stuff. <laughs> um, 844-MOJO Live, 844-665-6548. The text is 95500. Uh, what's going on? Selena, hi. Hi. Uh, I just could really relate to that because I actually, actually went to log into like my computer stuff a couple months ago, and I couldn't get into anything. So I start calling, like, our, our help desk and everything, and they um, didn't, like, couldn't figure it out. And then all of a sudden, they tell me I was fired by mistake. What? Oh, Wait. Yes. <laughs> they fired you by mistake? Yeah. the One of the upper, one of, like, higher up, they were putting in a termination for somebody else and accidentally clicked my name. Oh, my God. <laughs> Crazy. Wow. How do you do that? That's actually interesting because we, we talked not that long ago about how Shannon got somebody's raise <laughs> accidentally. Mm. Oh, do you know I had yeah. to write oh a personal check back no! to iHeart to return all that money? Yeah. Uh, it's crazy no. to think that it was a big day. companies like this and then yours. Wh- what kind of work are you in? You're um, like a oil you- business. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so these big companies. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, Mojo in the morning, what's going on? Uh, we will voice disguise initial L, we'll call you. What's up? Oh, I was calling because I'm a registered nurse. Um, I work from home, though, and it was my day off. And a group of that called in on our day off to go home and log in to all get fired. Oh, and it was- Literally the most traumatic thing ever. At least you're at home. They, wait, they call. They called you to say log in to get fired. What? I'm sorry. Yeah. So um, we were off that day, but we were from home. So they like called and they, cell phones. They wanted you to ask. log in for a Zoom firing or something. Exactly. No. That's like exactly. stupid. Yeah, that's so crappy. Why didn't you do it over the phone and say, "Hey, I'm sorry." They wanted to be face to see your face when they were firing you. I'll be fired. Yeah, it was awful. And the worst thing too is we all got our job back like a week later. What? Oh my god! What? No, Jeez. I wouldn't go back. What's happening, Jennifer? Good morning, everybody. Good, Good morning. morning. What's going on? Uh, so I always have like the constant fear that I'm going to be fired. And last Friday I had a doctor's appointment. So I snuck out early and I didn't tell my boss. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on. She said it so nicely. I got to dump. I got to dump that for one second. So, so for those that, those that missed the story. Yeah. You can't say, uh, you You can't say spitting bricks. Oh, she's, yeah. You said the actual word. Yeah. You said the word. If you would have said spitting bricks, that would have been better than. Shh, yes. bricks. Okay. Yes. Yep. So again, you were you were at home, and yeah, I just left the doctor's appointment. Doctor. I got an email yeah. from my boss saying that he wanted to meet with me on Monday, and I thought it was in regards to me leaving early, um, but it wasn't. Thankfully, it was about like some other stuff that we had going on in the office. But the whole weekend, I was so scared. yeah. Interesting. I had to dump uh, or not dump it, but pull it down because I thought she was going to say it again. <laughs> um, it's interesting. I don't think they fire on Mondays. I don't think businesses ever fire. Really, on they do. <laughs> I don't know. I think they don't. They always do it on a Friday or on. Nah. The, they fire on birthdays. They fire on holidays. <laughs> really? so I was fired on a Monday on morning. Weekends. Really? Fired on a Monday morning. Why have you come in on a Monday? That just seems stupid. so. We did it. They sent us on a cruise with listeners, so we were gone for a week. Got home on Sunday night, and that's when I tried to log into my email and was like, "Hmm, I can't log into my email." And then in the morning, we got we got the news saying, "Come in," but. It wasn't yeah. good, basically. You got to love those. They awful. sent you on a cruise. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of nice. You're <laughs> going to send off. What's right. up, Keith? Hi. How are you doing today? Real fast on the Monday thing. Yeah, they do uh, fire on Monday. They bring you back to pick up your last check. Oh, okay. All right. What's going on? Um, I worked for the city of Savinia a while ago, uh, Parks and Forestry. I was actually that's a temp. Right. And I had a, yeah, thanks. I had a, uh, <laughs> um, a subpoena for court. And I explained to them that I was there. Well, the court proceeding took an extra day. I did call in and explained it to them. They fired me. <gasps> the actual city did. Well, I contacted the supervisor. I said, you can't fire somebody when they're super, uh, when they got a subpoena. 
He says, you're right. Go ahead and come on back tomorrow morning. Came back the next morning. And he says, guess what? You're fired. We did it correctly. Wow. wow. <laughs> but he said, he goes, at first he goes, yeah, you're right. Come on back in. Now I'm going to fire you again. That's like insult to injury. <laughs> Alexis. That's for you. What's up? That's Bye. right, Kev. Hi. <laughs> what's going on? I'm, I'm sorry. I can't hear you. At, you got to fire your cell service. What's up? No next call. Uh, Nick, what's going on? Oh, my gosh. So I work in HR, and Megan, let me tell you, last week I had to go to Chicago, and I was chasing down a manager to find them in one of the stores to fire them. <laughs> really? Oh my gosh. That was me like running around and just popping into any dark room to try to hide. So Megan's story is legit. Like the people will hide from you. People will hide from me. I'm like, hey, I need to meet with you. Oh, I'm at this store. I'm like, okay, well, I'm at, now I'm at this store. Oh, I had to go to the other store. I'm like, okay, can you just stay put? Well, I got a lot of things to do today. Like, <laughs> yeah. You got nothing to do. Well, You're going to be fine. fired. That's, yeah, we will always find you. Yeah, that, <laughs> oh, that was ominous. <laughs> we will find you. You can run, but you cannot hide. We have your address on file. <laughs> Has that ever happened? Has anybody ever had them come to your house to fire you? That would be interesting. Mm. Uh, Reed, what's up? What's up, guys? Hi. So, uh, I actually worked for a company chain that uh, ended up selling, and we were told we were all going to keep our jobs. So I had a friend that worked at a different location who got fired. He calls me, telling me that he just got severance after we were told we weren't. He was really upset, so I took my lunch break, and I went to go meet up with him. I get a call from my boss asking where I'm at. He's like, hey, I came to your store to see you. Where are you? I was like, oh, crap, I'm, I'm next. So I told him I went to lunch, called him about 30 minutes later, told him I wasn't feeling good, used all three weeks of my sick time, didn't come back. Yeah! <laughs> good for you. This guy's a legend. Came back, came back three weeks later, and he goes, How'd you know? I was like, I, I just knew. He goes, yeah, sorry, we're going to have to severance you. So I Gee, ended up getting to yes. take all my personal time and vacation time and stay home for eight months while they paid me 80%. After. Oh, oh, my God. God. You're a genius. That's amazing. Genius, that right? is amazing. Jeez. <laughs> uh, T, what's up? Last call here. What's going on, T? Uh, I was, I had a job once and I was being promoted. I was promised a promotion. They told me what my pay was going to be, what my off days would be, all my roles and responsibilities. And then like a week after, uh, my boss was like, hey, jump on a conference call so we can discuss the next steps of this promotion. And when I got on the call, I was terminated. Wow. What? So you were promised all this stuff, but then you're terminated. Why would they do that? He never gave me a reason. Oh. And, and then when he terminated me, he told me he would give me a severance pay and I never got it. That's crazy. Selling so, him for a year, and I still haven't gotten it. That's crazy. So you were wow. promised, hey, you're going to get a promotion, thinking that you're going to get all this stuff. They fire you. Yep. See, Man. A complete surprise. Mm-hmm. I'd hate to play poker with those guys. <laughs> I'd be like, I would be like, man, talk about a poker face being able to like hold that back from you for the longest time. Do you have a job now, or are you? Yes. Okay, yes. good. Uh, even better one, actually. Oh, so. good. good. See, that works. Right. Well, thank you for the yes, call. Take you. care of yourself. Thanks. A lot of poor hiring decisions made by management led to this show, which explains Megan for sure. This is Mojo in the Morning. <laughs>